first, it's the first time I've had the opportunity to come on site to be briefed on the progress of the new bridge. I'm doing it on a day that really marks a milestone in the life of the project. We're putting in position the first part of the central tower on Beamer Rock and that's the start of four to six weeks work in placing the other nine sections which will give us a working platform on which to start building the central tower to rise up uh, above the fourth. It's also an important point in the project for economic reasons, uh, the direct employment associated with the project is now at its peak level of 1,200 and of course there are many more economic employment opportunities further down the supply chain. One of the very important things that we built into the contracts that we have with the main contractor, they have uh, specific obligations to make sure that they deliver opportunities uh, for long-term unemployed people, uh, vocational training opportunities and training for graduate engineers as well and they're actually beating those targets at the moment which is obviously very encouraging. I'd always wanted to be an engineer and it's offering lots of opportunities. It is a part of history, you know, like I'm not going to get this opportunity again. It is once in a lifetime. Mum and Dad were obviously really proud of me. They were just like, you've been given such an opportunity, make sure you make the most of it. It's providing training opportunities for young people. It's going to provide about 90 vocational training places every year of the, the project. This is a a project that's going to result in a bridge that will be iconic, that will be a fantastic structure to match the existing fourth crossing. So it's really exciting to be part of it and uh, that's certainly the sense I got from them when I spoke to them. I think just the fact that um, it's, it's, it's creating so many work jobs within the supply chain as well, uh, not just the people working on the project, but the fact that we have so many subcontractors and suppliers, over 300 companies in Scotland are supplying goods and services to the project and obviously all of that has a knock-on effect to the economy there.